Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Vivian, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of water cycle. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question six. Aaron was boiling some water in a kettle when he observed some white mist coming out from the spot of the kettle. The question is asking, which part of the water cycle is the white mist most similar to? So let us start by looking at the diagram above. We have a kettle and it is used to boil water. When water boils, what does it form? It forms steam. So is it right to say that the white mist that Aaron observed coming out from the kettle is steam? The answer is no. Now, why is that incorrect? When we talk about steam, which state of matter is it in? Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? It is gas. Then what do we know about gases? Are they visible? No, gases are invisible, which means we are not able to see steam. But if Aaron observed the white mist, it means that the white mist over here is visible. Hence, can the white mist be steam? No. Then, what do you think the white mist is? The white mist is actually made up of tiny water droplets. How then did the water droplets form? So, let us take one step back. We mentioned that steam is coming out of the kettle. Since steam is formed during the process of boiling, what temperature is the steam? 100 degrees Celsius. Hence, it is hot air. Now, what do we know about hot air? Does it rise or sink? It rises. When the hot steam escapes through the spot of the kettle, it comes into contact with the surrounding air. Do you think the surrounding air is warmer or cooler than the 100 degrees Celsius steam? It is cooler. Now, what happens when the warmer steam, which is a gas, comes into contact with the cooler surrounding air? Does the warmer steam lose heat or gain heat? It loses heat to the cooler surrounding air. And what process takes place? Condensation. So, let us write this down. Water droplets are formed during condensation. So the warmer steam condenses to form tiny water droplets, which is in the liquid state and it is the mist that we see. Hence, now that we know what the white mist is, let us discuss the two processes that take place in the water cycle to find out which part of the water cycle is the white mist most similar to. Let us start by looking at the water from the sea. When we talk about water bodies, does the water in the water body gain heat or lose heat from the sun? The water gains heat. And what process takes place? Evaporation. Then what is formed during the process of evaporation? The water becomes water vapour. Since we have warmer water vapour, does it rise or sink? The warmer water vapour rises since hot air rises. The warmer water vapour then comes into contact with the surrounding air. Since the water vapour is rising, what can we say about the temperature of the surrounding air? Is it warmer or cooler than the water vapour? It is cooler since the higher above the ground, the colder it gets. That's why it's cold on top of the mountains. So, would the warmer water vapour gain heat or lose heat to the surrounding air? It loses heat. And what process takes place this time? Condensation. And during condensation, what does the water vapour become? It becomes tiny water droplets, which is the clouds in the sky. Hence, if we say that the white mists are made up of tiny water droplets and are formed during condensation, I should focus on this part of the water cycle. Which part of the water cycle should I then choose? Is it the water vapour or clouds? 
I should choose the clouds since both the clouds and the mist are made up of water droplets. So with that, the answer for this question should be option number two. Thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!